Like, come on, come into America. Your girl Kyra Sean. For today's video, I'm giving you guys a first impression on a unit that was sent to me by Ebony Line. But before we get into all the specs of this unit and what I think about it, straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit was sent to me by Ebony Line. It is from Sensationnel. It is the Cloud9 Swiss Lace What Lace unit by the name of Danzy. This is what her card looks like. I got her in the color 1B and she does retail for $60.95. So definitely creeping up to that high price point for synthetic wigs. As with all the wet lace units, this unit does come with a 13 by 6 lace frontal, so that's 13 inches from ear to ear, 6 inches deep in the middle, as well as two combs on the side, one comb in the back, and the adjustable strap. And let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. Definitely easier to blend down a lighter lace to a darker skin tone than it is to blend down a darker lace on a lighter skin tone. The lace is not different. It's probably not going to be different. They're probably not going to change it. Let's move on. The hair texture of this unit is a little... I don't know, it's very surprising. And I say surprising because looking at the unit on the card, I was expecting it to be kind of that old timey type of um, synthetic feel of like our old synthetic curly wigs that was just like, <sighs> pipe cleaners. Um, however, getting it out the pack, not that. It definitely feels like a light yakky texture, especially towards like the top. I feel like there are two different textures in this unit. The top feels like very soft, but then once you get down to like the bottom, I don't feel like it feels the same. It feels a little bit more like stringier, which is where I'm seeing most of like the mattiness and like stringy type of situations going on. It's like, I don't, I don't, I can't describe it. If you guys can see what I'm talking about, see how it's kind of like, it's like full up here, but then when it gets down to the bottom, it gets kind of like stringy looking and it just just doesn't have that same feel as it does at the top. I don't know if it's just me, but if you do get the unit, let me know what you think about it down below. There is no shedding on this unit thus far. However, the bottom of the curls do get really messy really quick. So you can see right here, like I haven't done nothing to these. I've barely manipulated the curls as far as uh, move them around. I did not finger comb these. I did not brush through them or comb through them. I left them as, as it is. And already out the pack, it was already kind of like this. It was almost like how the unit was packed into the box it kind of made it kind of matted looking so just be mindful of that I did go in and cut some of the length out not too much though it does come at about I would say like a 16 inch on me this is how she's looking on this side um, and then obviously to the back that's how she's looking so if it falls like a maybe like an 18 on my back but on like the front obviously it's a little bit shorter this is a lot of hair a lot of hair however it's not heavy like it's very bouncy lightweight like okay I was very excited about this drop I really wanted them to drop a um, 13 by 6 lace in a curly unit for this line and so when they did it I was like okay I gotta get it even if I don't really know if I'm gonna like it I'm still gonna get it so I can try it for you guys and I'm actually happy that Ebony line did send this to me and that I did um, get to try it out because I actually do like it now I did go on with my baby hairs this time I feel like I did good on the baby hairs this time, so 
thank you. If you don't want to do the baby hairs, obviously you don't have to, but it does come with that pre-plugged hairline and the baby hairs. So, you know, that's how those are looking right now. Normally they do drop, you know, two or three units at one time. I love this texture. I think this is like the Yaki Crew uh, because Kiari and Danzi both have that Yaki feel to it. And um, I think that's why they're kind of coupled together. So this is how she is looking. I do have her clip back right now. Um, these clips are listed down below if you guys want to check those out. But I just clipped her back because it was a little bit too much heat around my neck and face area. I needed to let some areas breathe, okay? <laughs> Now normally I would say this unit is not big head friendly. Um, however, because I have my hair cornrowed under this unit, it's fitting a lot better. I don't know if they made the cap bigger or just like the way I have it laid down, it's fitting perfectly. Because it's fitting perfectly on this side as well as this side as you can see. And I have a 23 inch head, so. I don't know. Maybe the cap is bigger. I don't know. Or maybe it's just because I have my hair cornrowed under this unit. I do have on my wig grip just for extra security, but I did go in with my got to be gel across the front here. And then I used to free spray on my sides. I will take the clip out so you guys can see how much hair is actually in this unit. Like when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Okay. This is how the parting is looking with the unit, which I don't think is horrible. It comes in that stationary, like middle part, which you see right here. They did pluck that really, really well. Depending on the powder that you use will make the lace show a lot more. So I know when I use like a darker powder, thinking that it's gonna like kind of cancel out the lightness of the lace, my lace actually shows a lot more. So I'm just like, well, let me not do that. I also gelled this down before I put my makeup on to kind of get my baby hairs right so that they weren't coming up during this video. So this is how she looks with the middle part. So still a vibe, you guys. So I cut hair over here, but not on this side. So you guys, this is how it normally would look. It's one length, it's long here in the front, but I did go in and cut a little bit of shape in here on this side. So I would definitely go in and cut this if you choose to. So if I go in and just cut that pretty much. Okay, give her some shape in there. See what I did? The texture mainly reminds me of the sensational, um, what is it, the showstopper unit in the lace part. That's what this reminds me of, but it just gives you the, thir the 13 by six. That's all. It's a little bit longer. Um, the ends are not as uh, together as a showstopper one, but that's pretty much what you have. You're welcome. This is how she is sitting in the back. Oh, goodness, a lot of hair. But she definitely gives off like that kinky curly vibe. So I'm not mad at that. Look at that. Like, do y'all see that? Okay, so you can definitely do like a little up style with this, for sure. Like, come on, come into America. <laughs> but do y'all see how that looks? Do y'all see the roots of this? Like, it looks very, very natural. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they did it with this hairline and these roots and these curls. That looks really good. Y'all did really good on that sensational, so kudos to y'all, that's bomb. Now you guys know I am notorious for putting my hands in my hair, as you can see right now, but for this unit, I would tell you, try to keep your hands out your hair. I don't know what to do with my hands. This hair is gonna get bigger and bigger, and it's also gonna make it tangle and mat a lot faster. Let's go ahead and say it for the bundle burners in the back who's still gonna comment about it tangling and shedding. Is it kinky curly? synthetic unit. Shedding, tangling, matting, it's going to happen. So this is not something you can kind of brush through and make the curls get redefined. It's going to change the shape of the curl if you brush through this unit or comb through it. I would definitely tell you this hair is a lot to handle, so just be aware of that. Now you could definitely cut this a little bit shorter if you want to, but as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm gonna leave it at this length just because I know I'm not gonna be rocking this every single day. I do think she is cute, but do you guys see what I'm talking about with the ends of the hair? Like look how like defined it is up here, and then once you get down to the ends, it gets really stringy like. Like, I don't know, that's just so weird. But that profile looks bomb. They came out with Kiari with the Yak Yak, now here they are with Danzy with the Yak Yak, okay? You know, it's Yak Yak affiliate, okay? Like I said, the roots feel like Yaki, but the ends feel like a little something else. It, like this right there, that right there, sweetie. We don't like that, okay? But it's probably all Yaki. Probably just feels that way because of the curl pattern, so. Don't, don't slaughter me in the comments about, it is a Yaki. I'm telling you how it feels, okay, Brenda? That's the only con I would say for this unit. Not even the lace, because it's old news. This, this is the con right here. $60 is definitely that high price point for a synthetic wig. If we being honest here, if we being honest, I wish it stayed around that $50 price point just because, you know, <sighs> 
this situation down here. But yeah, y'all, she's a vibe. I do like her. But definitely shout out to Emily Line for sending me this unit. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.